as they're looking at accepting a role that's going to require relocation is make sure that they've got alignment with their family. And, and we encourage candidates to talk with their families early in the process. If, if they think that this is an opportunity that they are uh, interested in and likely to accept, then having that conversation early and often uh, is very helpful. Getting the family bought into a move is uh, far and away the most important component of relocating. So there are a few best practices that we advise candidates who are looking to move uh, to, to take when it comes to making a relocation. And typically what that involves is making sure that they're in contact with and having a dialogue with a realtor who is knowledgeable about the market and who is knowledgeable about the communities in the area. You get on the phone with the realtor and speak with them about the interests that you have as a family. It could be sporting, it could be schools, it could be involvement in, in the local community and in, in uh, the botanical gardens, whatever it is. Make sure that the real estate professional knows what your interests are, what your priorities are, and that way when you do arrive, they'll have a, a full and, and meaningful day of home visits and potentially school visits and other things that uh, will, will make your decision easier. Oftentimes when executives are making a move to a new city, we do recommend that they, they get in contact and have a point person with another executive at that company who might have similar life circumstances. The, the spouse might have similar uh, interests and activities. They might have families with children at the same age. So establishing that relationship up front and allowing an initial phone call just to kind of ask the basic questions and get in opinions and insights from from an actual person who is living in similar circumstances is tremendously valuable. That oftentimes that friendship blossoms and they continue to maintain relationships um, years in the future. And, uh, and, and it oftentimes can be, be quite, a, uh, quite a meaningful relationship for the families on a long-term basis. We had an example not too long ago where an executive was, was hesitant to accept a new role because the relocation would require moving to another city. And they had a, a, a special requirement for the schools for two of their children. They had a very specific type of school in mind and they were, they were skeptical that they'd be able to find that. However, after connecting them with the HR people and to the, to the local realtors, they were able to come up with actually two schools that met their criteria and they were, they were able to visit them as part of a house hunting trip and it, it really put their minds at ease that they'd be able to settle into this community. So there are, there are lots of success stories of this happening, but there's also some, some tales where it's been, been more of a challenge and not doing that homework up front has made a, a transition into a new community a bit of a challenge.